A man cleared of all charges more than two years after he struck and killed a woman with his car. His attorney says a Cobb County judge ultimately agreed that Corbin Engler was only protecting his family. Fox 5's Joy Duke spoke with Engler and his attorney about the evidence that cleared his name. That Superior Court judge dismissed charges Engler was facing, including the murder charge that was added in February after the woman who was hit died from injuries she sustained. Now, Engler and his attorney, who maintained that there was always more to the story, tell me that this ruling is a testament to that. It is very surreal. Surveillance video from this Valero gas station in Ackworth on the night of January 2nd, 2021, captured the exchange that changed the trajectory of Corbin Engler's life. The night he recalled two men and a woman approaching the car he has his wife and three-year-old son were sitting in, accusing him of child abuse, which his attorney, Megan Gout, believes was a misunderstanding as he was trying to strap their toddler back into his car seat. From behind the store and was threatening me, threatening, threatening to beat me up, threatening to beat my wife up and whatnot. I told him, I was like, y'all just need to step back away from my car. You know what I mean? I don't know you. I don't know why you're hollering at me. You need to step back away from my car. Engler says when he tried to get away, the woman in the video, 27-year-old Katie Lambert, jumped in front of his car. Seconds later, she was hit. We've chosen to pause the video prior to the collision. At that point, I was so scared. I didn't know I didn't know what was going to happen next. So the only thing that I knew to do was just go. Lambert was taken to Grady in critical condition. She died in February of this year from injuries she sustained in the incident, which resulted in Angler's charges being escalated to homicide. Gout says that video helped Cobb County Superior Court Judge Gregory Poole decide Angler was not the aggressor and led him to grant Angler immunity. He tried to protect his family. He hadn't done anything wrong. He never got out of the car. He tried to leave. And then unfortunately, those three people kind of in concert tried to prevent him from leaving. And a tragedy happened that never had to happen. Engler says it's the moment he'd been praying would come since it happened. And in response to the decision, the Cobb County DA's office had this to say, quote, we are saddened by the tragic loss of Miss Katie Lambert. We cannot condone the actions of Mr. Engler in her death, but we respect the judge's decision in granting immunity from prosecution. We have submitted a dismissal based on the judge's ruling. In Cobb County, Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News.